At Relevance, we help businesses build their AI workforce. In our platform, you can create digital workers that are trained on your company's processes and knowledge to complete work autonomously and at scale. In this video, I wanna run you through the anatomy of a Relevance agent. What cognitive abilities have our team been able to distill into these digital employees? Let's jump into it. So first up, short-term memory. Now this is table stakes. We've seen this ability for a year now with ChatGPT. The ability for an agent to remember what you've just spoken about, what topics have been discussed in the conversation and continue to have that conversation. Again, we've all seen it before, so we'll move on to the juiciest stuff. In relevance, you can teach an agent about a topic by importing data into what we call knowledge. For example, we work with a lot of market research companies that will import their survey responses into knowledge so their agent knows about the survey responses and can analyze and summarize them. Or for example, we work with customer service agents that have had frequently asked questions imported into their knowledge. As Relevance started as a vector database in 2020, knowledge was one of the first cognitive abilities that we distilled into our agents. One of the most powerful parts of our platform is our no-code builder, where you can create anything from LLM chains to complex functions with hosted Python and JavaScript or API requests. This essentially lets you teach your agent how to do new things. Now we like to bucket these new things into two broad categories, skills and tools. Skills are processes that experts learn through experience. For example, a marketing expert will know how to format a blog post to optimize for SEO, or a sales expert will learn how to research a prospect effectively and efficiently to do personalized outreach. You can recreate these sort of skills in our no-code builder and give them to your agent. Tools are providing the agent with access to new services. For example, HubSpot or Google Search. Now, so far, you've probably seen mostly LLM interactions in chat interfaces, such as ChatGPT. However, we believe that relevance agents shouldn't just be focused on chat, they should be task-oriented. When you use our agents, they complete these tasks that you scope and they report on their activity with visibility for management, so you can see exactly what they're doing. We all know that a big challenge with agents and LLMs in general is getting them to behave predictably. Now our research team is the best in the world at this and we've created this brilliant abstraction layer into our product so you can chart out processes for your agent and your agent will use this to guide its behavior. Sort of like how a new employee at your company might follow an SOP. So now our agents are not just task oriented, they're process oriented. We've also worked on making our agents more and more accessible to the outer world. For example, we've given our agents access to email and soon services like WhatsApp. We're constantly adding new ways to trigger your agent into action. We strongly believe that multi-agent systems are the way forward and we're actively researching new ways to improve these systems. But already in relevance, our agents can work together for example, our flagship BDR agent has multiple teams of agents led by a manager agent. Our agents can not just collaborate with each other, but they can also collaborate with you. They can bring the human into the loop and ask for input or just for approval. Now, one of the core cognitive skills that we have as humans is our ability to think about the future, plan some sort of action, and maybe even schedule some action. We've given this ability to relevant agents. They can schedule actions for the future, such as follow-up messages, and they can also cancel these plans if something changes. I think this is one of the most powerful abilities we've given our agents. Finally, our agents are able to analyze their work and apply higher level categorization. For example, they can mark their work as complete, or they can bucket their work into some predefined labels. This means they are significantly better reporters of their work and they can be managed better. 
as their manager, you don't have to look at every detailed task and what they've done. You can look at the higher level abstraction of the categories and what work has been moved into complete, what's in progress, what's been labeled with X, Y, or Z. Your agents are now way better employees. Awesome, that's the anatomy of a relevant agent in December, 2023. But our team's working super hard on the next set of cognitive abilities that we're going to distill into these digital workers. I can't wait to show these off in the next video. But until then, I've been Dan, this is Relevance. Have a great holiday season and we'll see you in the new year.